welcome back brothers and sisters and also the people who are watching this who are watching this channel and it came as a surprise to you that many of you are uh, in fact not christians yet i would say but after i posted this last video is about this portal opening etc okay and i i mentioned in that video okay that i don't even know <laughs> if this is true or not okay but we have a lot of new subscribers and um, i wanted to say that i did receive your email um you didn't want your name mentioned but you said that um, i like christianity i like jesus but i don't like christians because they insist that only their way is right and only jesus is the right way and the rest of our gods etc are all either fake or demons or and i i resent that why can't you let me worship my god and i let you worship your god it's okay i love i love jesus i love what he said but don't claim that he is the only way so now i have a response and i hope you'll hear me out okay because do you see this uh, painting here it is by a great artist named antonio cesari okay now i want to show you that this is pontius pilate okay and this is Jesus standing next to him wearing the crown of thorns just before the crucifixion was ordered. Now, you're not the only one who says what is truth. Because 2000 years ago in Judea, Pontius Pilate, who was the fifth governor of the province of Judea, serving under the emperor Tiberius, all right, this was... Judea was under the Roman Emperor, uh, under the Roman Empire at the time, right? So this is Pontius Pilate, and famously he is also called um, Jesting Pilate because when Jesus told him that I have come as a witness to the truth in John uh, chapter 18 and verse 38, Pontius Pilate very famously turned to Jesus and said what is truth as in you know in latin the bi biblical scholars have given it as quid est veritas what is truth as though there are many many truths in the world and he's like fed up and he's just asking jesus what is truth there was no response from jesus to pontius pilate but in the book of john in the 14th chapter in the sixth verse, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. But he tells this to people who are listening to him, who actually want to hear what he has to say. Now, again, another question was asked in the same mail, where you said that, okay, you know, like our gods and goddesses, our, you know, are so much more ancient than Jesus. How can you claim Jesus is the only way? You know, this is a problem I have with Christians. They claim Jesus is the only way. And, you know, we have far more ancient cultures and, you know, religions that date way back from Christianity. Now, my friend, I'm going to, I'm going to share something with you, okay? Just a minute. So this is the book of John, okay? It's one of the Gospels. And see how it begins right john writes this about jesus jesus is also called the word right he is the word the word of god okay apart from the bible the old and new testaments being the word of god jesus christ himself is known as the word okay now john makes it very clear in chapter one all right when people say Jesus is just 2000 years old, Christianity is just 2000 years old, I would love to correct that because he says very clearly, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life and the life was the light of men, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Okay, and 
this is beautiful because then it goes on to say in verse 14 and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory and the glory as of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth so brothers and sisters and those who are going to very soon become our brothers and sisters i pray that there was nothing before there was there was the word in the beginning was the word so you see when people have this misconception that jesus or christianity is just 2000 years old they're wrong because it's the beginning of all creation was the word and that is who jesus is okay now i'm going to do a quick study because of that portal video it opened up a lot of uh, you know uh, questions about lying wonders and you know what are you know is it a lying wonder it was that a lying wonder in all probability it was a lying wonder okay now in second thessalonians 2 9 to 12 it says even him whose coming is after the working of satan with all power and signs and lying wonders okay and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth. As in Pontius Pilate, what is truth? What is truth? With est veritas, what is the truth? And we have been told, Jesus himself told us, that I am the way, the life and the truth. Okay? He is the truth. The truth, the truth is in Jesus alone. No man cometh to the Father but by me. That's what Jesus said. He came to be the witness of the truth. And you can either believe that or be another Pontius Pilate. And trust me, you're not the first one. Pontius Pilate was there 2,000 years ago asking the same thing. What is truth? So, quid est veritas? What is truth? Now, the Bible has many verses that actually explain what the truth is, okay? Now, in this, you'll see that I've got several verses here because very soon a time is coming when you'll have this demonic aliens, you know, or the fallen ones coming down, all right? Which is the great deception that is already been spoken about in the Bible, all right? And he's going to come the working of satan with all power and signs and lying wonders all right and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish whose names are not written in the book of life because they received not the love of the truth here again is the truth they did not receive jesus christ the word as the truth that they might be saved i pray that you listen to this because these bible verses i hope the holy spirit moves in you and convinces you all right because here it says in second timothy 4 1 now the spirit expressly says that in the latter times or the last days some will depart from the faith many will depart from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of de demons now what are these doctrines of demons all right because there is for their for the time will come when men will not tolerate sound doctrine, but with itching ears, they will gather around themselves teachers to suit their own desires. You know, teachers that tell them, oh, you are God. You know, you are, you are great. Just meditate and do this and that. And, you know, these are doctrines of demons. Teachers to suit their own desires. All right. They're probably making a ton of money of seminars and books that they write. Okay. So they will turn their ears away from the truth, away from Jesus Christ, and turn aside to myths. All right. Now I want to I want to say something else here. All right. But understand this: that in the last days there will come times of difficulty. Great tribulation is upon us, my friends. For people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless unappeasable slanderous without self-control brutal not loving good treacherous reckless stolen can you see this yeah with conceit lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of god having appearance of godliness but denying its power 
It says avoid such people. But can you see this was written 2000 years ago. You tell me that this is not a fact today. Where people are just, you know, their lives are just surrounded, you know, with their own pride and their arrogance. And the sheer abusiveness of life these days. The sheer, you know, no self-control. Not loving good. Because Isaiah said even before that, even, you know, 700 years before that Isaiah said, that they call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. They switch things around. Okay. And Galatians speaks about the works of the flesh that are evident. All right. Now you can say, no, you know, most of the people I know who follow so and so religion don't have all this the sexual immoral immorality, impurity, sensuality. I, okay. Now let me tell you something. Okay. Jesus tells even those who follow him, he says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Okay, on that day, that great day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do mighty works in your name? And then will I decree to them, I never knew you, depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. A high degree of you know, discipleship or perfection is required to follow Jesus. You have to pick up your cross and walk. All right. It's not easy being a, being a Christian. Sure, we all mess up from time to time, but we repent when we mess up. Okay. And Ephesians 2 says, And you were dead in trespasses and sins in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air. This is what is another name for Satan or Lucifer. The spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, like the rest of mankind. But now, once you are born again, you get a new spirit in you, which, which convicts you every time you sin. It's called the Holy Spirit. Okay? So... In Colossians it says, see to it that no one takes you captive by philosophy and empty deceit according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the world and not according to Christ. Okay, and if you ask me what is the doctrine, what is the doctrine of demons? I would say anything that leads you astray from a sincere and pure devotion to Jesus Christ is a demonic doctrine. Anything that takes you away from Sincere and pure devotion to Christ is a demonic doctrine because Christ is the truth. Quid es veritas? Jesus Christ veritas. He is the truth. Okay. And he's, he tells us in so many words. Okay. Let no one deceive you with empty words for because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. And there are so many verses I can take you through. So many verses, all right? For though we walk in the flesh, we are not waging war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare, the weapons of Christian warfare, are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds, spiritual strongholds. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God, which is Jesus Christ, and take every thought captive to obey Christ. We are not for the doctrines of demons. Don't you see? Because as Pontius Pilate, Pilate asked 2000 years ago, quid es veritas, I will tell you, Jesus himself told us. I am the way, the truth and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. And Jesus is the truth. He does not lie. There is no lie in him. And Romans tells us, do not be confirmed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, which happens when you invite Jesus into your life. You get the Holy Spirit, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. And there are so many who say, oh, Jesus is very nice and all that, but you know, I'm still a follower, I'm still a Buddhist or something else, okay? So those of you who say, oh, Jesus is great, but I can't, I'm not a Christian. You know, Matthew 15, 8, Jesus says this with pain in his heart. He says, these people, 
this people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth. So many people around the world who are celebrating Christmas, putting up Christmas trees in their homes, and they're not Christians, right? And, you know, this is what Jesus will say to them, because they have not come to him yet, heart and soul. This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and they honoreth me with their lips. Sure, they'll have Christmas dinner and put out Christmas gifts under the tree, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. All religion is man-made. There is only one truth. And the truth is Jesus Christ. No man cometh to the Father but by me. Okay, so don't be in this category. Come to the Lord Jesus now. This world is... You can see it for yourself in First John 5.19. And we know that we are of God. And the whole world lieth in wickedness. Can't you see around you what is going on in the world? The evil and the wickedness in the world. And we know that the Son of God has come, Jesus Christ, and hath given us an understanding that we may know Him that is true. And we are in Him that is true. Even in His Son, Jesus Christ, this is the true God and eternal life. And how, and how, how, how strange is it that even after knowing all this, the world still turns away from you. The world still turns away from Jesus. They will celebrate Christmas. They'll put up lights in the tree, put gifts under the Christmas tree. But look at what's going on in the world today. All right. Look at, you know, geologically look at how many earthquakes and volcanoes are going up all over the world. Extreme weather events. Okay. Look at politically how many wars are about to begin. Wars and rumors of wars are all around us okay every country is at in a battle against every other country literally nowadays wars don't have to be fought with weapons they can be fought even economically sanctions etc and yes the weapon weapon the war with weapons is coming very very soon and it's going to be a terrible war some of the rabbis have said that the third world war will last for exactly 12 minutes and everything will be over now, therefore, submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Trust me, the moment you take shelter in the Lord, the Lord says, Ye who are heavy laden and weary, come to me, for I will give you rest. Okay, resist the devil and he will flee from you when Jesus becomes the Lord of your life. You all were interested in that portal opening up in KL, which we don't know whether it's true or it's just CGI. But I am telling you, things are coming upon this world that you will soon know. Revelation tells us, and the great dragon, which is Satan, was thrown down. That ancient serpent who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He is the father of all the other demonic doctrines, okay, in the whole world. You'll notice that he can't hide it. In every demonic doctrine, you'll see idols that have snakes around them. Snakes. Snakes. The snake was the one that deceived Eve in the Garden of Eden. Please think. Whether you see the Egyptian god gods or the Greek gods or the Indian gods, they all have snakes around them. They have snakes depicting them. You wouldn't invite a snake into your home. If a snake comes into your home, you'll probably run screaming. At least I know I would. But all these idols and all these depictions of these fallen angels, okay, they all have snakes around them, whether it's around their necks or above their heads or, you know, as a crown above their heads like the Egyptian gods. And you'll find snakes depicted because they cannot hide it from you. They cannot, they're not allowed to hide it. It's a spiritual law. And people will still worship them, right? Now, let me show you Genesis 6, okay? This is about the Nephilim, the fallen ones, okay, the sons of God, the angels, the fallen angels who came to earth. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God, this is Benaiho Elohim, this is the sons of God, the creation of God, which are the angels, okay, the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives, all of which they chose. This is the coming deception. 
these guys are going to come back okay there were giants in the earth in those days now in many christian uh, commentaries you'll find that they saw the daughters of men they say are the daughters of seth and uh, you know they were fair and these these were the sons of cain okay the sons of god sorry were the sons of god were the sons of seth and the daughters of men were the sons of were the daughters of cain which cannot be because look at what their offspring were they were giants okay so they they mated with human women the fallen angels and they took them wives of all which they chose and how do we know they're fallen angels because if a human and a human mate you cannot produce these massive giants okay it's not genetically possible there were giants in the earth in those days and also after that when the sons of god came in into the daughters of men and they bare children to them and the same became mighty men or some of the gods that are worshipped in different cultures, which were of old, men of renown. Okay, people still worship them. All right, look at Greek mythology. Look at all the Egyptian legends. Look at, you know, different cultures around the world. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually because that's what these demonic doctrines do. They, they, they drive you into evil okay that's what any doctrine that takes you away from the from the devotion to jesus christ and the holy spirit and the father they drive you towards evil okay and it repented the lord that he made man on earth and it grieved him at his heart because there's so much violence so much cruelty so much genetic mutation going on with these fallen angels all right and he said that I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, because they were messing around. They were genetically mutating both man and beast and every creeping thing, the fowls, they didn't even leave the birds. Okay, and it was all genetically modified. And how do we know that? Because it says, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And do you know the very next verse says, because Noah was perfect in his generations, means his genetic code was not mutated it was not corrupted and even in jude it, there's a mention of these fallen angels and the angels who did not stay within their own position of authority but left their proper dwelling this word dwelling is okiterion in greek which means their habitation they left their place and their their light bodies to come to earth to mate with the women now most cases these are the gods the nephilim are the so-called because they came with great power okay and like wonders and they mated with women because they are more powerful okay they are the benehe elohim or the angels of god are super powerful not as powerful as jesus and his angels but this is what it means all right but and then in matthew 24 37 it says very clearly that but as the days of noah were so shall also coming of the son of man be there's a lot of genetic mutation happening right now on earth people have no idea what they're taking into their systems even there's genetically modified food okay and the coming of the son of man is going to be a great event and the whole world will know when it happens and it is going to happen very very soon so please come to lord jesus now accept him as your lord and as your king Invite him into your heart and tell him, Lord, forgive me of my sins, which are many. Forgive me and please get baptized in the name of the Lord and to have eternal life with him. There is heaven and hell are very real. And where you go, this world is coming to an end. I'm telling you this, you'll be seeing this very shortly. Already there are many, you know, um, Many people have seen these, uh, you know, so-called UFOs, alien encounters they've had and things like that. And I had made a video three years ago where I was given visions of this. They are almost here, part one and part two. Please, I will link them below. Please do go through them. Okay, because this is the deception that is coming. And people will believe it. They will come and say that we see the human race, blah, blah, blah. And look at the look at the trailer of eternals you'll see you'll get the drift okay let me let me remind you and with all deceivableness of the unrighteousness in them that perish 
because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Be saved. Come to eternal life in Lord Jesus. Please do it now because something is coming to the earth which is going to shock everyone. If you think that portal was shocking, so many things are going to be revealed. There will be demons walking upon the earth. Okay, because this, this right here and the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent, after a war with the archangel Michael, which they lost, they were thrown down to earth, which means they were they were dimensionally demoted. And now they can no longer cloak themselves from humanity. Right now they're cloaked. You see ships in the sky, but they're cloaked. Okay? That dimension will be removed from them because they will lose this war. And then you will see them. You will see this with your own eyes. And it's not very far away. It is coming on the earth. Before it comes on the earth, Please, please accept Lord Jesus Christ now. He is the only way back to the Father, back to our home, back to the one who created us, back to love, back to life, eternal, back to the Garden of Eden, back to paradise. Wherever the Lord is, that is where our paradise is. And all this is coming up on the earth, brothers, sisters, and all of you who are watching this channel, please come to the Lord now. I am telling you that, you know, the days of Noah are back. Okay, I'm going to show you. A, I'm going to show you. I'm just going to flash this for a bit. Read it. Read this. Pause it and read it. The days of Noah were so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be because Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord because he was pure in his generations. He was perfect in his generations, which means there was no mutation in him. And now all of this is happening again. All of this genetic mutation is happening again. Please, please know that this time is very, very soon. And as a side note, I would also like to share with those of with those of you who've been following the 717 ministry. So I just wanted to check, you know, uh, this Eke, all right. Homo Eche, because I've heard it pronounced as Homo Eche, right? Many people say Homo Eche for this painting, but the correct pronunciation in Latin is Eche Homo, okay? Eche Homo is behold the man, all right? So when I was looking this up, okay, how to pronounce Eche Homo, guess how many views this video had? 717 views. I just checked it today. These 717 is coming to me in the oddest possible ways, brothers and sisters. So anyhow, I would like to remind you that those of you who have not come to the Lord Jesus, please come now. There's no time left. There is no time left. All this is going to come upon the earth. And watch those two videos which I've linked below. You'll see the extent of the horror of what these fallen angels will do on earth. Okay? It'll be a time of tribulation as has never been seen on earth before and will never be seen again okay it will be much worse than the genesis genesis six days before noah's flood came and god had to destroy the earth because there was so much genetic mutation going on in the world at the time he had to he had to destroy and now jesus is coming back in all glory with so many angels and we will all be there to see it all right so please don't uh, you know don't uh, don't wait don't delay understand what is the truth as it is said in ekke homo what is the truth i am the way the truth and the life no man cometh to the father but by me that is what jesus says and he is the son of god and his claims are true he wouldn't say that if it weren't, weren't true. Okay. So God bless you guys. Come to the Lord now. Be baptized in his name. Come to the Lord now. While there's still time. Great things are about to happen on the earth. And you don't want to be caught here. Without. The power of the Lord. And his blessings. And his grace. In your life. Okay. There is an eternity after this life. Which. If you come to Jesus, you will live an eternal life in the heavenly realms. Alright? So, just 
come to the Lord now. God bless you. God bless you all. I'll say good.